Hi everyone, I've just come to share with you another stuffed um, paper bag with the journal inside. I'm not really sure what to call them. <laughs> but this one here is using um, new kit from Artie Mays, which is her coffee themed kit. And I will put a link to that down below. It's absolutely gorgeous. I'm not a coffee drinker, but I do like coffee themed things. So this one is really chunky, it turned out chunkier than I planned to do it. So um, I don't know where to start here. Right, so I'll start with, I made my own, um, I bought massive lunch bags. I didn't realise they were going to be so big. Anyway, out of them, I've made my paper bags. Um, <clears throat> it's like a craft, it's, um, it's good quality paper bags. It's not like really, I have got other ones which they're really kind of, I would say they're much more flimsier than like these. They're just bread bags again, but they're really kind of flimsy. Um, and I didn't realise obviously that when I bought them, but these other ones, which are huge, let me see if I can grab one, uh, the quality is so much better. It is really good, but I've managed to make two, <coughs> two out of that by cutting them down and doing my own thing. And there's no point in doing a tutorial if, if like, you ain't got them size bags because you could fit like a kilo of potatoes in them. <laughs> anyway, so I made my bag. I stitched it all together. I have filled it with all the eph the ephemera that, well, not all the ephemera. I have well, a majority of the ephemera that comes with the kit. <clears throat> and let me see here. I have made a little um, altered paper clip using the little banners that you get in the kit and I've just put some trim on here and a seam binding bowl and we've got some three three flat back pearls here and this was just a little bit of the paper that was left over on here I've got some trim and some flat back pearls I've got some scrap lace here and one of the tickets and I just stamped um, explore dream and discover and it's got some kind of cheesecloth in the background <clears throat> I've got a double, this can be undone, I'm not going to do it, but it's you can journal inside that. And here is just the ephemera that comes from the kit. I've just backed it all onto coffee dye, not coffee dye, just cardstock and inked it up. Um, this is a envelope which comes with the journaling card that I've probably stuck inside there. No, <laughs> well yeah, a little bit, there you go. So that pops in there. Here is just some more ephemera from the kit. And so is this, just a little paper clip with some seam binding. Whoops. And this as well. Here we have an envelope. It's very pretty. And inside there I've just put an index card which has been inked up. So you can journal on there some ephemera from the kit, a large tag from the kit, love the coffee bean bag and the coffee grinder there, which is actually the same as that, as one of the tickets, that's the paper from the kit, because this is actually a, you know, a journal kit, so I've done some more trim here, I've got a bowl here and I've put a little bead dangle that I had, which was just lying on my desk and I've used a bulb pin. And I'll sit that. So that's the bag. And the journal is like so. I can't remember how many pages there is in this. But it will be listed on my Etsy for sale if anyone's interested. Now it has got quite a bit and it tucks in here just snug. That's what I meant by I didn't I didn't realise it was gonna be so chunky. <laughs> um I've it's a cardstock cover, shrunk down some of the journal kit pages so that it would fit inside the pockets. I've got some crochet to trim on here and let's go inside. So obviously this paper from the kit, I haven't used all the papers, just made some tucks here. We've got some little tickets there that flip up and some ephemera from the kit and tags and that just pops in there. Here we've just got a pocket and a tag from the kit. Everything's from the kit. <coughs> Another flip up. Some more ephemera. And 
in some more tickets. So you can do some little little journaling or little notes on that. Oops. Doily index card paper bag. Here we've just got some ephemera. Let's grind your coffee at home. And a pocket from the kit. She's sitting there smelling the aroma of coffee. Some more ephemera from the kit. Oh, this paper clip's a bit tight. <laughs> Doesn't want to come off. Just been coffee stained on the back. Just tied in the middle. Some more ephemera. This actually, um, that's sweet. This is a double flip page. And it just goes on here. Another pocket and a tag. Not a tag, ephemera. Lots of journaling room. Paper bag. And you can use all this stuff that's in the front pocket in the journal. You can switch it all around. Some more little, these are little tickets. Some more mason jars. This is a journaling card. And this flips out. And that all goes in there. I made a load of these last year. Um, like Christmas themed ones. And shabby chic ones. Um, and a lot of other people joined in the fun and making them. So it would be great to see if you make any this year. In any style. <clears throat> a little ticket. Mason jar. Some more ephemera from the kit, all from the kit. Don't think I used anything that wasn't from the kit. And a little flip up. A oh, little bit glued down. There we go. And that is the back. So that is the journal that goes inside it. Um, I'm supposed to be working on other Christmas journals, but when I got this, I, I just had to stop and make something as you do and I'm just going to tie that in a bow so like I said I'll put a link to Artie Mays down below for the new kit um, it is gorgeous so go over and have a peek and this will be listed on my Etsy if anyone's interested so I hope you're all having a good day and I'll speak to you all soon bye